Okay, back for another trip down Sassafras Gully. It's supposed to rain tonight, so I want to get down there as quick as I can. Um, it's a good day other than that, and I'll see you when I get down there. Well, made it to the campground. Took about two hours or so. I haven't really checked the time yet, but that's how long it feels. And there's my bag over there. Same spot as last time. It's a bit more rubbish left behind by people from previous camps. I don't know if it was the same time I was last year or recent campers, but I'll have to take that out with me. But now it's time to get set up and get some lunch on. Okay, I'm all set up now. Got my hammock around the right way this time. Haven't put the tarp down yet, but it's all set up and ready to go. And I got a new string tarp, uh, hammock, sorry, behind my other hammock to hold my bag. Should keep it off the ground and close to me. So, should be a good night. Rain's not showing as it was predicted. So, we'll see what happens later on. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, just got some firewood. Okay, I just picked up some firewood. And I'm about to test out the new wrapped uh, fire lighter cube from Redheads that they sent me as part of a free promotion on Facebook. I'll be cooking that in my new zebra billy pot, the 12 centimeter one. And I'll be having some noodles for lunch, followed by a muesli bar afterwards. So I'll get this lit up and then I'll come back to you. Okay, I have the stove all loaded now, and I've got the uh, Redhead's fire cube on top, so let's just light the wrapper and see how it goes. Seems to have taken pretty quick. Now to put some some twigs on top. Seems to be doing its job. Once it's going, I'll then put some more kindling on top. Hearing some noise in the bush. Wonder what it is. While the fire's getting itself going, I'll just show you what I've got for dinner for the next couple of days. Bought some backcountry online from Snowy's, and I've got a uh, cottage pie. What we're gonna do is add water to these, boiling water, um, and they've got roast lamb and vegetables. And I've got a few snacks: uh, freeze-dried apple and a powdered smoothie to try tomorrow. So uh, when I open these, I'll uh, do a review on them and see how they taste. Got the new zebra billy can on the fire and getting the water boiling so I can get the needles on. Wood's been quite wet still so I've had to spend time drying it off as I get the fire going. We'll have to keep an eye on the billy now because it looks like it's going to 
move so I need to adjust the stand. Water's coming along nicely, I think it's almost boiled. It's just great being able to cook on a fire, being out in the bush. Almost lunch time. Noodles are done. Looking pretty good about now because I'm quite hungry. And then I can have a rest and get some water before dinner time, which will be in a couple of hours. Depending on how late I want to start cooking. It's just lovely down here. I could spend days down here. Looks like the weather's starting to roll in. The clouds are starting to get a bit grey now. Might be time to put the tarp up soon. First I need to filter some water from this stream. More of a river than a stream. Okay, it's time to do dinner. Having um, backcountry cuisine, roast lamb and vegetables. So, I need to uh, remove the mashed potato pack, open and add 110 mils of hot water and then stand, let it stir and stand for 10 minutes and then add the remaining half a cup to the packet and then let it stand for 10 minutes. So I'll get that done and we'll get back to you. So I'll just let them sit now for 10 minutes and I'll start having dinner. I made some um, damper earlier, it's sitting inside here just keeping it warm. Got a little bit burnt on the um, edges, but inside it looks pretty good. So I'll just wait for the backcountry to finish. Then I'll have roast lamb and veggies for dinner. Get back to you later. Just sitting in the hammock, had dinner a while ago with the hot chocolate, now just enjoying the night, enjoying the hang, it's good to be in the hammock, it's better than the tent, turns it so hard when you're back on the ground, just listen to all the sounds, the wildlife, I think I can use some frogs. Probably later on the night I'll end up probably hearing a fox again. So yeah, it's just good to be out. I enjoy getting out. Okay, well, I'll see you guys in the morning. I had a sleep in this morning, about 9 o'clock, then got up and had to do a few things. Had my morning constitutional, which is fun out here in the bush. And uh, just to relax for a while, and now time to get some breakfast on, 
and have a cup of tea. Looks like I've got porridge this morning. So I just need to boil up some water so it won't take too long. And then I'll sit down and enjoy it. Got the water boiling now. Put the porridge into the bowl and the teas in a teacup. So now just waiting for it to boil. There's a live bird get flying around to you somewhere. But he's too quick for my camera, so otherwise I would have got a photo of him. It's quite big. Almost turkey size. Breakfast is served. Can't wait to get into it now. So I'll catch you all later. Time to filter some more water. I'm about to use my Soya Mini Squeeze system, which works pretty good. Now, I used to use a life straw, but this is a lot much easier, and you get a lot more out of one stick than you do with a life straw. So, I'm going to continue using these for now until something better comes along. my campsite straight through the trees and just see one of the bottles or kettle it's lovely down here the river's gone down a little bit so I could get across to the other side Okay, just got some water boiling on the alcohol stove and now it's time to have some pasta and sauce to go with a latte and then I'll finish off with a Snickers bar because I was supposed to have one last night but I just ate that um, damper bread instead and that was quite filling. Now just sit back and relax over there and eat it. Lunch is ready and now served. It's got my coffee on left, Snickers afterwards, and my tomato pasta. Time to enjoy. Just found a whole heap of rubbish that I decided to pick up because no one else was bothered. That's about well, that's more than what I've brought in in rubbish. My rubbish is in that little bag over there. And this is what I've found. And there's a sanitary pad inside that backcountry um, cuisine bag. 
people need to take their rubbish out with them when they leave. Otherwise we won't be able to use places like these anymore because the government like to shut things down and give them an excuse to do it too. So it's best if people take their rubbish out with them. Was I able to check the weather forecast? I noticed that the wind started to pick up and the temperature dropped and the humidity went up to like over 92%. So I checked and there's a rain coming. I was able to check the radar when I got some signal. And it's coming from the south which should be down that way somewhere. It seems to be swirling around a bit. So I'll keep an eye on it. I was hoping to put on a fire, but I don't know. I might use the alcohol stove tonight to cook the um, the backcountry cottage pie on it. See how we go. Okay, I decided to risk it and got a fire going, which I need to keep an eye on. And gonna cook the dinner, the cottage pie. We'll boil the water for it on the fire and see if I can keep the fire going for as long as possible and then I'm going to have that with the Snickers afterwards with a dark chocolate mocha so I've got less to carry out when I leave tomorrow eat as much as I can so I'll get that cooking now Well the rain arrived and I didn't quite get the water finished boiling so I've got it boiling on the alcohol stove and then I'll get dinner ready in here and then sit out the night in the hammock and wait for the rain to hopefully pass tomorrow by tomorrow morning. Well dinner's ready. It's about quarter to six now. So I'll eat this and then I'll get ready to have a break in the hammock for a while. Yum yum. Well, I'm in the hammock now. Had my dinner. Looks pretty good. Tasted really great. I'm going to get those again. They're worth it for the price. And they're less hassle when you're out there. It's uh, 20 past 6 now, I'm in my thermals, getting nice and warm, it's supposed to get down to 3 degrees tonight, but we'll see what happens, so I'll catch you guys in the morning. Well, I finished my trip down here in Sassafras Gully at Glenbrook Creek. Time to head home now. It's got about a 6k hike. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to like this video or subscribe to my channel, please do so. And I'll catch you on the next one.